What up, what up? It's your boy, it's your boy. Yeah, you know how we do it. I don't know if some of y'all ain't seen that one yet, but yeah. We we'll be playing with those. Um at the house. And um here with the girls, the boys are upstairs. Um watching the movie. The little one keeps stealing the cookies. My sister. Yo, we're chilling. Let y'all see what's going on. Them two. He is over there chilling. Uh, came in um last Saturday. Stayed around till Thursday. Picked up a little joint, ran to uh, L.A., picked up in uh, Long Beach, Carson, and uh, came back to Tucson, so I had a good little lick. Um, West Coast is popping right now. Um, I don't know about vans. I think it's starting to move a little bit, and one is because they got to get some of that stuff out of them ports, especially for... Some flat steps and all that, you know. <coughs> Sorry if it's not focusing right, but um, the rates are, are crazy right now for a step deck and a flatbed. I should say step deck, but the way we got our search set up, you can get a flatbed or a step deck for particular rooms. So um, it's a good look at the moment. I fucked up. Um, I didn't. Uh, Renew my Twix so I can't get in the port, things like that. But I am here to uh, get my star in my CDL, the real ID act. You need to Google that. Uh, get my passport and my Twix updated. So I don't have no more problems, especially for 2019. Um, I was trying to do it Thursday, but that wasn't going to work. So then I rescheduled it for yesterday, then that turned into hell because on the way back the customer decided to say we're gonna unload at um one or two PM and um so I was just like damn y'all threw me off and I'm sorry if this joint ain't focusing right I guess it doesn't like like you being away from the screen. Um damn it's terrible I can see it like Fucking Stevie Wonder on the fucking lens today. Yo, wake up, wake up. Anyway, so I think I know why it's doing that. Um So at the end, about ten o'clock they changed their mind, said, Yeah, we're gonna get y'all unloaded. Yeah, you didn't want like eight Landstar trucks sitting in the damn street. Come on, man. So, um, and you know how that is with the whole sitting in the street, sitting duck mess around here. Um, so they got it straight now, and then, with that said, I was freaking out of hours and couldn't even do anything, so I was like 80 miles from the house, and I don't know, this whole hours of service thing is going crazy with the whole personal conveyance thing. Um, I was tired anyway, so I went to sleep, uh, but what y'all need to do is go look at the FMCSA on the hours of service under um, personal conveyance and see what they have did as far as the update because I'm hearing all kinds of retarded stuff. Um, I don't know if that's a land or which I'm going to go back and Google it and go look. But um, you know how the law being Landstar stretches it to make it fit within, you know, their system. And like I said before, there's some things that, that, that is done here. It's a little bogus. But, um, <clears throat> so you got to go read into it. Because you can hear on the recording one thing and then something else probably really did happen. Which I know they were trying to revise something for as personal conveyance. But speaking of personal conveyance, man. I will tell you this. There's some dumb drivers out here, man. There's some real dumb drivers out here. Let me, let me tell you what it is. Well, I'm going to use an example. You can't be sitting in Fayetteville, North Carolina, deadhead to Florence, personal conveyance. 
now you're in Columbia and you're in Augusta, Georgia, now you got a load. That doesn't work like that. You cannot do that. You cannot um, bobtail with or with a trailer go to your next load, personal conveyance. Um, and you will hear drivers say, oh, this is it. They, they don't read shit. They don't read shit. Um, and I never got in trouble for it because, motherfucker, they never pulled you over yet, you know. They never checked your shit. Maybe they checked this and this, but they didn't check this. You see what I'm saying? So, just because they never popped your ass, doesn't mean somebody won't pop your ass. Because you hear a driver all the time, whether it's personal conveyance or anything. Well, I done did it 27 million times, and they ain't never got me. They wasn't looking for it that day. Maybe somebody else will. So, go read up on your shit, you know, because they're going to they're gonna fry your ass. And each one of those little violations, you know, when it comes down to your logbook, you know, um, outside this personal conveyance, it's like three points for Bill of Lightning, three points for this, three points for that. Three points for not putting your truck number in. Three points for not putting your trailer number in. Even though that goes on the company CSA or whatever. But after a while, they look at them numbers and go, oh, yo, this dude getting us a lot of numbers. We got to get him the fuck up out of here. Um, and that's how that works. But uh, drivers just sit around and say, oh, it never happened. And this never happened and that never happened. I wouldn't listen to them motherfuckers, man. Because them motherfuckers be the ones who going to get your ass in trouble. And these motherfuckers on the internet, too. This is, I mean, officials and companies is watching y'all asses out here on the internet, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. You I mean, you got trucking groups with like 30, 40,000 people. You don't think there's a couple of safety departments in that motherfucker? If you did some gangster shit, shut the fuck up. You don't let the world know you did some gangster shit. Because when some shit go down, they just gonna go back and go, well, on this day you said this on Facebook. On this day you said that on YouTube. You did this. Now you got this. Well, boom, boom, boom. Now get the fuck out of here. Get you out of the fucking building. And you might go to lie to the planet and say something else happened, but your ass is fucked up doing some dumb ass shit. You cannot be on the fucking internet with that bullshit. And we all done did some gangster shit out here. But some of you newer motherfuckers and there's some older heads or whatever, and Yo, some of the shit y'all doing is, is the reason why they go back and revise shit. Change shit up, and I hate the way they doing it. Revise this, revise that. They change shit like every 30 seconds. And, um, you know, um, it makes people not even want to drive no more. I'm not saying me, but you just see other people saying it. I know other people say, good, more freight for me or whatever. But then some of y'all, them same motherfuckers doing that dumb ass shit. You can't, you can't. Go 200 miles personal conveyance on ta-da, you sitting at Kimberly Clark with a fucking load on your back. It's not how it work. Um, so, so yeah, y'all need to cut that dumb ass shit out. I know one of my boys reached out to me a while back. I know he did that personal conveyance on right here. Um, he did that personal conveyance. He had an emergency. I, I hope he's still good, because I didn't know that wasn't legit, the way he told me, man. Um, so I hope he's straight, whatever, he had a family emergency, he did it under a load, he fell short of the, you know, whatever, he said he had to go in, so, but, um, that's not legit, but, I mean, shit, it is what it is, and hopefully they didn't can him, you know, because Landstar dropping hammers on people, Landstar, um, I heard Ranger, I don't know about Inway, um, yo, they got like 50, 60 people getting hammered by DOT or whatever for violations. So they're getting hammered with violations. And, um, <clears throat> with that said, you're going to get a lot of red lights at the scale house. So... Um, and y'all better watch out for that as an in way I don't know but as a ranger yeah y'all might want to watch out uh, 
because they coming, they coming at, at y'all hard with the, uh, they checking log books, they checking that personal fans, they checking your GPS location, latitude, longitude, um, they checking bill of lading, truck number, trailer number, whatever. If it ain't in there, you getting points, man. They hammering your ass. Falsify logs, you already know what it is. I think it's anywhere from like 21 to 27 points, depending on how they see it. And um, they can cook your ass, your ass to be cooked. Step outside. Go ahead. Mm. I'm doing my little thing thing. What? You think you need something? I don't know, I thought he wanted something. No? No? Oh. Step out. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. So my son's down here. He's um, what you call it? <clears throat> Getting snacks or whatever. I wanted to come outside anyway, but since I was watching the baby, she's in the shower. You know. So, you gotta handle what you gotta handle there. <clears throat> Let me see what I can do with this. Look at this dog. <clears throat> so, what was I at? Violations, man. Uh, you don't want all these violations, man. We got this little umbrella thing here. You know, uh, might want to set this back a little bit. We in the backyard. I mean, we go to pooly pool this is a pretty nice size pool but uh <clears throat> these violations man you you're gonna get fucking hammered man I just saw a message come across on the phone people asking about owner operators and doing this and doing that we'll talk about that for a hot second but uh <clears throat> you don't want all these fucking violations on your your, your joint Cause then it's gonna look bad for you, man. Um, stop leaving Fayetteville, showing up in uh, Augusta, Georgia. Cause you, <laughs> you gonna have some explaining to do when the man see you. If your company gets audited, they are gonna get your ass too. Probably hit you with a couple of fines. You can run all you want to. They gonna get you. Um. But yeah. That said, y'all y'all need to cut that shit out with the internet shit. You know, making yourself look like a fucking retard. You know, uh posting and saying stupid ass shit. Uh I PC here, I PC this, I unplug this and I do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is exactly what it is. We got drivers getting popped like a motherfucker and don't fucking sit here and tell me. Well, I don't know how to do it well. I don't get caught. No, if they really want to find out, they'll find out, motherfucker. Oh, trust me. I already seen the shit where they can look at Omnitrax uh, and stuff like that and see where you're actually sitting in the fucking parking lot, damn near that. I mean, they pretty much spot the fuck on where the fuck you sitting at. They've been had technology like that. It's just more advanced now. So, some companies... Which I saw, I didn't read it, but it's true. Yeah, some people still stuck on technology from 20 years ago. So, they can give you back then, like, uh, excuse me, general idea of where you're sitting at. No, now. Yeah, you right here, motherfucker. Yeah. You right here. You sitting right here in the TA on the first fucking row, about three spots down. Yeah, that's how they, they can find you. So, you guys thinking you can't do this and... You can do this and do that and get away with it. You ain't getting away with shit. You might get away with it for now. But when they catch that ass, that, that that's all she wrote. So, supposedly Ranger had a bunch of people get hammered. Um, about 50, 60 people. Uh, I met a driver right uh, the other day. He was a fleet owner. Thursday. He got six trucks. And uh, they do a lot of Canada runs. You can see it all in his truck. The stickers and all this and that. He, he runs up into Portland and, and Oakland and all that, the ports and shit. So, so, yeah, I had a driver get released the other day because she goes up to uh, Canada. 
and I, and she's supposed to go to Alaska. And I guess somewhere up there around Yukon or something, those that run up there, they know you lose service. So if you don't pay attention to your joint when you cross in, uh, how many hours you got left? And I know Canada has a different HOS, so when you get up there, before you get there, I guess you got to punch it in, say you operating on Canadian um, DOT rules. And if you keep running, your joint going to run out. It's going to say you in violation by like a million hours or whatever. And if you keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it, Landstar going to get rid of you. They're going to get rid of your ass. So uh, the falsifying and all this this crazy mess, I mean, like I said, we all did some gangster shit, but there's just some shit that you just, you can say what you want. Because uh, I know a lot of people don't even know how to even use the hours of service properly in the first damn place. I know some companies tell them you only can sleep 10, you only can do 10 hours. Some companies tell you you can split long. <laughs> Shut up! Hush! Cause this one act, act the fool over here, man. I know I'm gonna tell him to shut up, but <laughs> anyway, hush! Don't even say nothing. Hey, get over here! Why well, see you in your room or something? Try to truck come to do some of y'all drivers. Hush! Get over here before I see you to you. So I send you to the house. Sit down. Sit. 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 There you go. Anyway, uh, on the operator, man. Hey, sit down. Forget those two. Chihuahuas, or whatever they are over there. Get over here. You'll probably start barking. Um, Drivers be like, what's the best company to do the least purchase? Y'all heard me say that before. Um, I'm not going to go too far into it, man. Because um, there ain't too many good ones at all. Um, I got the whole Snyder thing. Got a million views on it. A lot of people know what I'm talking about. A lot of people today are at Landstar because they, they know the difference now. I know some drivers went over there. And the reason why is because they can't manage their stuff. Well, they need somebody to handle the loads. They don't know how to get on there and get that extra dollar. So that they don't want to deal with that. So that's why they go to Snyder and go to wherever. And a lot of drivers from there come over here because they want to be in more control of the situation they're in. But um, what's the best company to do a lease purchase at? Where you can pick your own freight. Then you get this damn driver. Go get your own rights and authority. And you won't regret it. But what if that motherfucker don't know how to do shit? I hate when people tell people that shit, man. Go get your own numbers. What the fuck does that mean? They don't even know the proper steps to go get it. They probably won't know how to do fuel taxes. Because the company was, was already paying their fuel taxes. $22.90. There's a whole lot behind this. You just can't tell somebody, go get your own numbers. You'll be better off. As I always say, it's going to be the dumbest shit you ever heard somebody say, man. One of the dumbest things. You're just going to tell somebody that barely even knows how to even purchase a truck or whatever. Go get your own numbers. You really trying to get this motherfucker killed. He's going to be out there, she going to be out there hauling a dollar twenty-five a mile freight all day dollar 30 messing the game up for other people because there's a lot of y'all out there right now doing that there's a lot of y'all doing that i seen somebody say um they hauled a load it was like a, i swear to god it was like a dollar 25 in the northeast i was like <laughs> are you serious right now unless you're a company driver and you got that i, I don't know you, you can't be going like, you know, you can't be going 600 miles for like fucking $800 and shit or whatever the fuck it was. I was just like, damn. Now, maybe I heard that wrong, but uh, I thought I heard that shit. I was just like, did this motherfucker really just say that? But um, that right there... Um, 
It's one reason why, you know, when somebody says, go get your numbers. How? You, you out there doing shit like that? You, your boat going to sink. You going to sink in 30 days. Then you won't be able to pay your insurance if you ain't got the money. Because a lot of people go out there butt naked. They use their last to get in. And you've seen some of the videos. And I can say the name. Like, you know, Joshua Cars and a couple other people. You know, uh, 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 McCarthy went and got it left land store and got his authority. Right? And he had a little hiccup or whatever with Landstar, not giving him the information, which was bogus. But, um, see, that's some of the bogus shit I be talking about. But, um, Ricard's when he got his tr joint, truck broke down. See, I know these guys cool with me saying this, though. I mean, truck broke down. Shipper busted his trailer. Dude got brand new trailer, didn't they bust his trailer? I mean, he got to patch it and all, you know? But, nah, I got to hit y'all. I got to hit y'all for this money. It was a broker load anyway. So, and I seen, um, was it Columbia Glider Dave? He said, uh, something about that the other day. Yeah. It was a broker load. Fuck them. I'm going to hammer their ass. Fuck them. Bullshit ass, uh, you know, little bullshit ass customer, man. I seen the clip. So... But when, when you come out, you know, you have an incident like he did when in the beginning. Guys, plates and all that shit. Let's say you ain't, you spent your last. You spent your last. And um, something happens to your engine. What, what you going to do? You haul, And then you come out hauling for $1.25. What you going to do? Huh? What you going to do? You ain't got them numbers. Them numbers ain't there. Now the insurance company looking for their twelve hundred dollars, or whatever, and stay the fuck from Progressive, man. Y'all ain't doing nothing but paying flows, paying for flows contract, man. Them motherfuckers be bugging. I mean, when they try to hit me a long time ago when I tried to do authority, I was like, fuck y'all, shit. These bitches be talking about seventy thousand. Damn, that's fuel money <laughs> for the year. That's a driver's salary. Come on, man. Should be paying no more than about. Maybe fourteen thousand on average, twelve thousand. Each state is a little different, you know, how you um how the insurances the rates are and all that. I think Mississippi's like the cheapest. But um and I'm looking at it right now. Uh I might take the one truck I got parked and, and I might do something with it, you know. Um It ain't that land star, so I I'm probably me and my wife having a discussion now. What I'm gonna do with that truck. I might have it set up somewhere, somewhere, do something, I don't know. We'll see. But um, for somebody to go tell another person, go get your own numbers, and you won't regret it, don't listen to that motherfucker right there. Because you, one, you already don't know what you're about to get into. And you're going to have some random motherfucker tell you, go get your own numbers. You used to driving for Swift or somebody. Dollar one oh nine a mile or whatever the fuck it is they be paying. Clem, fucking, what they pay at Clem, one oh two or some shit. You used to pulling UP for UPS over there. They want you know lease the UPS. What they dollar two dollar five? Like now you come out here, you got your own numbers. You trying to haul that same bullshit, or you might haul it for like fifteen cents a mile more. Man, you are falling your face so fucking fast. Fast, man. Um, so, yeah, I mean, can't listen to people that say that shit, man. You just can't. And, oh, yeah, man, shout out to everybody, man. I know I didn't even say that in the beginning. Um, but shout out to everybody. Um, my new subscribers and... Uh, Shout out to, um, big shout out to, um, damn, exclamation, exclamation thoughts, exclamation thoughts, uh, I heard he shouted me out in the video, I'm trying to find the video, but shout out to you, I sub to you, and just cause, I mean, y'all, y'all shout me out in videos and stuff, and I don't catch it, somebody might tell me down the road, um, or whatever, I Y'all that fuck with me, I fuck with you, man. So, just because I didn't sub to you mean I don't like what you're doing. I probably never got to see your shit. And actually, that's what the first time I've really seen any of your shit, you know? Um, <clears throat> so, but.
But yo, shout out to him. Shout out to everybody though. Um, what else I want to touch on before this damn thing tries to loop again? Um, oh, step deck, flatbed. It's, it, it's official. I just ain't went and picked them up. They here. They they on my um Facebook page. Two step decks. Um, they ready to go. Yo, Jason. L Boogie. Uh it's a few of y'all, man. Mr. Gangster Gangster Galloway. Um Y'all got two trailers that's gonna be open, so I don't know. They even offered me to pull a RGN now. So I'm in the I'm all 2019 RGN. I don't even know if I want it though, because it's the wrong time of the year. But it's a triple axle, flip axle. So brand new. I seen them already in Alabama. Uh, so I mean, I, I I got some options for for myself over here, and um, we'll see. Cause we trying to fill, working on filling this other truck, so I, I don't know where we going with that. So we'll see. But the trailers, they official. They loaded up. Um, and we gonna put them in action here in a little bit. Uh, I know y'all trying to get to that step deck game. Some of y'all about to do it here in the upcoming month or so. We go take the class and all that. Good luck to that. Um, Make sure you have the proper equipment. You're getting a step deck. Make sure you get two chains, right? And cut them in, in the sections. Uh, three, five foot. Get, get a 20 foot chain. Uh, get five eighths. I'm sorry. Three eighths. Um, three eighths. And um, cut them into four sections. That way you have short chains. So when you're hauling things, like, don't, don't require a lot of chain, man. You, you don't have all the excess hanging around all over the place. Uh, but make sure, I mean, all your chains is that size. When you pull in the step deck. Make sure you got the proper binders, ratchet binders. Get a couple of snaps because sometimes you might need that snap binder to get into a spot. Um, your tarps. Make sure you have pads. Uh because you got machinery we mess with. You'll see sometimes you running around with like a 5,000 pound load. We do a lot of that crap. Running around here with one little piece on a damn trailer. Like, damn, we should have LTL'd that out. But the way the system looks, it's just, it's not set up like that anymore. Um, but there's ways to do things. So I know you ain't been doing it like I've been doing it, but, and others, but there's ways to, to make it happen. So. You get that deck, man. You can make like I did twenty thousand in one week, man. LTL did out, so yeah, you you'll see it. You'll see it. Now some people go, yeah, you made this and that, but you did this and uh, you haul oversized. Man, I don't even haul that much oversized. I'm qualified to haul a lot of shit, but I just you know whatever. Uh, that's why I got. That's why they offered me the RGN. You know, uh, done did enough of that. I'm, quali I'm qualified to haul that. I hauled the RGM before, but, you know. Uh, so, y'all will get there. It takes time. So, it'll take time. Can't rush into things. Uh, make sure you read your permits right. You know, don't want to get caught up in no dumbass situation trying to explain to somebody why you at certain places. Because sometimes these permits will start you off in a place. And that's it. They just start you off right there. Well, how the fuck do I get over there? You got to figure it out. Um, and pull out your maps and make sure. You know, checking your height and all that. Um, there's a lot more I could talk about. But uh, with that said, uh, I hope y'all uh, be successful in what y'all about to do. Because um, I know y'all been watching me and other people do it. So, um Hope y'all get to where y'all want to go. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up here. Uh, been watching a lot of funny shit on YouTube. Uh, you know, shout out to OG, Ricky. Shout out to uh, everybody else I've been watching. You know, um, the 718 and fucking 
uh, and SoCal and a couple of y'all. Shout out to all y'all. Uh, anybody, you know, I jumped on, I jumped on uh, uh, Galloway's video the other day. Uh, I jumped on Al Smith's video, but some of y'all videos, it says y'all live, but y'all ain't live. Y'all already did it. It's over with. So, but I, I, I watch... If I'm sub to you, I'm going to watch you, man, whether you're live or not. So I'm going to see. Because some of y'all, like I said the other day, y'all be cracking me the fuck up with some of this shit um, that be going on out there. But uh, with that said, man, uh, we're running 30 minutes. I'm at the house. We're having these Coronas and snacks and jerky and all that. we probably get back out there on the road Tuesday or something, so... But anyway, y'all be good. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.